Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is Blackberry. Oh, shares stopped trading when they started taking in. Oh, wait a minute, they missed the private sell. But don't worry, the company is for sale now. I know, it's kind of disappointing for you Blackberry lovers out there. But don't worry, it may be going to an Asian company because it certainly looks like most of the Blackberries are sold in Asia. Well, for now, we're going to bring Old Cam along with comments on the headlines of today. People are hanging out at no life. And it's all over for the Republicans. Actually, they shot themselves in the foot today. They have decided, well, we can't afford to have the bad press that goes with shooting the, the, the with shutting the country down. Ann Coulter, you're not shooting the damn, shutting the damn country of the president. Well, they're going to make it sound like we're doing it. He said, you're a bunch of gutless, spineless whips. And he said, you expect to take the Senate running away from people? And he said, I, I said, uh, they said this morning, it looks like there is going to be a third party, and that third party stands a good chance of becoming the first party ever to win the presidency because Hillary's negatives are better than her positives. Uh, and Obama awards illegals for breaking the law. Oh, they're really pissed this time. You had this so-called the Dream Act 9. They, they, they illegally came into the country to protest what's going on, so Obama gave them diplomatic asylum this last week to protect him from his immigration people. What? The immigration people are throwing a fit. They're basically saying they're criminals. They came into this country deliberately to break the law, and the President of the United States rewarded them for doing it. And um, this is the one, okay, the Republican leadership is going to cave and give Obama anything he wants. But it's going to cost them because the party followers are going to kick their asses out. I don't. Nobody understands what they're doing because they're not going. When McCain and uh, and Graham try to run as Democrats in two in two red states, they're not going to get any support. Mm -hmm. Obama basically will come and campaign for them. But when he does that in states that they just like the man, that's got to really do him a lot of good, isn't it? Hmm. And Harry Reid. Oh. Harry Reid says Obamacare will lead to a single-payer system. Everybody has known it. This is the whole trick. This is why people on the right say you have to put a knife through the heart of the program. They said, well, the, you can't defund it. And, they went, and Ann Cohen says, we know you can't defund it, but you can, make a, you can basically show some background and, and say we're not going to fund it and because you know Harry Reid is never going to let the vote come up in the Senate. The instant you vote to defund it in the House, you then put it over to a conference committee, and the conference committee is made up of the people that worship the president. Mm -hmm. And Senate seeks numbers from NSA on phone collection. Yeah, uh, and they're not going to give it to them. That, why the NSA is firing all the people? The NSA doesn't want the people have people subpoenaed to answer questions. So if they're fired under the uh, under the law, they're not allowed to talk about what they did since they're no longer employees. They signed an agreement about that, folks. And Americans' opinion of Supreme Court can't keep dropping. Well, because it just shifts. You have a court that is center-based shifting to the left. And no one can understand what's... Okay, here's how it works is. Republicans tend to put people in that end up liberals Democrats tend to put liberals in that end up as moderates, which mm -hmm. that's what happens is they, they tend to forget who put them in office the instant they get a lifetime job. And Obama fraud task force takes on the big banks. Yeah, he basically, he wants to, br he wants to bring the banks to their knees, like he's demanding, his Justice Department is demanding people plead guilty of a crime that was never done. The British government couldn't find the J.P. Morgan guilty of anything other than a computer glitch. But Obama wants them to admit guilt and to, and to pay a huge fine for something that they didn't do. If you lose, okay, if the President of the United States goes in and buys food that his wife says you're not supposed to have and throws it in a trash can, that's money he lost. Under Obama's standards of thinking, well, if my wife throws my fast food in the trash can, somebody should be made to pay for what happened. That's mm -hmm. Obama's idea of justice. And Holder proposes changes in the criminal justice system. I've got to reward people for being drug dealers now. He said, I see no reason why a person dealing drugs should have to go to jail. It's, just, it's a non-serious offense. They should find them and then give them rehabilitation. They said California is the model of it. No, California has been ordered by the court system to throw people out on the streets because the jails are overcrowded. And their, their system, well, we're rehabilitating people. 
They said that everyone they rehabilitate is back in a jail cell within a week of being rehabilitated. Mm. And Japan's below forecast growth fuels sales tax debate and the economy. Well, yeah, um, basically, uh, the, basically what happened was the Japanese minister, who's no longer going to be the minister after the next vote of confidence, decided to raise taxes because the economy is going good. Well, after they went and rejiggered the figures, the economy actually grew one and a half point less than what the government actually had said they were. So, so they said, okay, like this morning, one of the stockbrokers, he said, he said, take out the government spending on Wall Street, you have a dead economy, totally dead economy. And they keep saying, well, this growth, they said, take out the government spending, it takes out one to two percent of the of our gross national product. You have a gross national product of less than one percent a year under Obama. And IRS documents show bias against conservatives. Not according to the Democrats. Well, we've got liberal groups that were hit also. And that they're, and if they did do anything, they're no longer doing anything. And just the fact that IRS agencies in the upper echelon of Washington, D.C. said they're still targeting him, well, that doesn't mean they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And Serbia Wu's ex-IMF had Strauss Kahn for advisory role. Yeah, this is the guy that Obama didn't want to be the head of the, you know, the head of the, uh, uh, of the, you know, become the head of the thing because he doesn't agree with Obama on spending. And Obama had him jailed for prostitution. And now Obama has now basically adjusted the department and said, well, he set up a prostitution ring in the United States. No, he had girls come to parties like they always do when you're executives, and they're calling that a prostitution ring, and want him retried now for his prostitution charges again. What? I mean, they always have girls come because, That's what? That's right. Can they, you, we go to parties all the time in Los Angeles and Las Vegas where half the people are, are basically paid to be there. Mm -hmm. They want to make it look like a party. Yeah, you populate them with good-looking mm -hmm. girls and good-looking guys if you can find them. And Serbia Wu's ex-IMF head Strauss Kahn for advisory role. Yeah, she liked that one. Um, <laughs> um, U.S. intestinal bug traced to salad greens from Mexican company. Okay, uh, how many times have we mm -hmm. told people, despite the fact that they're in bags, you should wash them off? You know, we got we got we actually had a case from the food show one time where they sent us. So we've been washing stuff with that stuff for years. Mm -hmm. And U.S. budget constraints could limit efforts to ch catch illicit nuclear material. No, because they didn't cut any money. There is no money that was cut out of the budget. They cut it out of future growth. That is a not. They didn't even cut the growth. They just slowed the growth down. But it's causing a problem with the. Okay, the military is. Nobody gets laid off because it is not, okay, it, it, if you reach into your pocket and the money you have in the pocket was given to you last year, that's money that was meant for last year. If you reach into a bank account tomorrow and it's money from this year, it means it has no bearing on last year. If you cut the money from the bank thing, that's next year. It has no effect on people that are already working. And amid probe car companies' plans haven't panned out. Well, yeah, that's one of Obama's great uh, energy-conserving vehicle that basically never made one single car. Mm. And vodka boycott in U.S. spreads on concerns over gay rights in Russia. Nobody gives a damn about gay rights. Okay, we're going to put it this way. Other than the British, does anyone support gay rights in, in the world? No. <laughs> and former Obama chief of staff officially runs for Illinois governor. Well, yeah, because that's a member of the Daly family. If they wanted a member of the Daly family to have been governor, they would have elected one a long time ago, not one that's in the 60s, that basically couldn't even get along with Obama. And UK's Royal Mail sell-off promotion plans angers postmasters. Uh, you know, angers a lot more people because there are things you cannot do over the internet that the post office does. First of all, the majority of the people Contrary to what they think, don't have computers, so you can't send it to them. You also can't get uh, the, the partial service, would then have to go to United Partial or FedEx, which is more expensive, and they do admit, oh, what is causing the upward tick? The uh, government has been photographing every single piece of mail that's been coming through the post office since Obama became president. Hence, we have huge losses. Ah, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, often it is true, going back to the future is a good way to do business.